Hey guys, it's Saga. A few days back, I made videos about best cases for the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro, and some of you guys asked me to make more videos about smartphone accessories. So in this video, we are looking at one such accessory. This is the Light Chaser 15 from Polar Pro. Now this video is not sponsored by Polar Pro, but they did send out this kit to me just to check it out. I liked it and I had some interesting thoughts about it, so I decided to make a video about it. If you don't know what Polar Pro, they create some of the best quality gear for photography and videography, like filters for your cameras, drones, and phones matte boxes, bags and a lot more. I've used their ND filters on my DJI Maverick Pro and I also use their Quartzline ND and polarizing filters for my DSLR lenses. So I'm pretty familiar with their products and I use them on a regular basis. Ok, let's get back to the Light Chaser Pro. They sent me the case for the iPhone 15 Pro in this desert color and if you don't like this one, it's available in a few other colors as well. Then there's a circular polarizing filter, a variable ND filter and a grip with cold shoe mount and a standard tripod mount thread on it. They only make these for Pro iPhones. So right now, these cases and filters are available only for the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, which makes this a very niche product and I have a few thoughts on that, but I will address them towards the end of the video. For now, let's check this system out. This case is nice and rugged and adds a lot of safety to your phone. If you like to add a lot of protection to your phone, you can even get this case without any of the lenses, the case is that good. Since the case is a bit thick, it can feel a bit too bulky if you like more minimalistic cases on your phone. Speaking of minimalistic cases, if you haven't checked out my videos about the best cases for the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro, make sure to check them out. I will leave cards to them on the top right corner of the screen and also link them in the description section. The mounting system for the filters is proprietary, which means you cannot use these filters with any of the other cases or this case with any of the other filters. I will be honest here, I am not a big fan of proprietary things, may it be connectors or filters. I would have preferred if this was a clip-on mounting thing like this one so you could mount these filters on any of the phones of your choice. Anyways, next up we have this grip which can be attached to the case and you can actually attach it at different positions to attain a comfortable grip on the phone. It fits in very securely and I really like this grip. It not only adds extra grip to hold your phone more like a camera, but it also adds more weight to your phone and hence gives you stability. This is especially important if you are shooting videos. It also lets you mount this setup on a tripod thanks to a quarter inch thread at the bottom. You can either attach this whole setup to a tripod like this or if you find a nice flat surface, this case with the support of this grip can stand up on its own for a quick time lapse or a selfie video which is really nice. You can also attach another accessories like mics or lights via this cold shoe mount at the top. So this is a very versatile system. Both the circular polarizer and variable anti filter come with a nice case of their own to keep them safe when you are not using them. They also come with this nice cover to protect them from smudges and scratches when these are on your phone but you are not really using them. Now what a polarizing filter does is it cuts off the reflections that you might get on a glass panel or a body of water when you are shooting outside. Here is a shot with some glass windows and look at all the reflections. And now as I turn the polarizing filter, look at how most of the reflections just vanish and you can now look at the things inside these windows. Let me show that one more time. Here is the shot without the polarizing filter and here it is with the polarizing filter. These are the same lighting conditions and the only difference between these two shots is the addition of polarizing filter. I can show this working with various reflecting surfaces as well. It works even better for water. Look at all the reflections on the water and now as I turn the circular polarizer on, look at how most of the reflections are now gone and how clear the water looks. Now I'm again going to be honest, I don't use polarizing filters very often but I'm really excited about the variable anti-filters. I can see those being very useful to me especially for Indian summers. If you don't know what anti-filters are, then in simple terms these are like sunglasses for your cameras. Just like you put on sunglasses to reduce bright light, these ND filters work in the same way for the cameras. You can even use ND filters to capture a shot with long exposure. If you are into shooting videos, your videos will look the most natural when the shutter speed is double your frame rate. So if I am shooting at 24fps, which is what this video is shot in, then the shutter speed needs to be 148. But when I set it to this, the overall shot is overexposed because of the bright sun. But look at what happens when I put the ND filter on. The overexposed part of the shot and the overall shot in general starts looking much better. This is a variable anti filter which means when I turn this ring, the amount of light that is being let onto the sensor is controlled. So if the scene is not as bright, you can set it to ND3 or if it is too bright, you can just turn it and set it to ND4 or ND5 which cuts more light and it's very convenient. If you go out a lot and take a lot of images or videos with your iPhone, I think the Light Chaser 15 could be a very essential accessory for you. When you're not using your filters, this case can stay on your phone and keep it protected. 
The filters also have cases and covers of their own, so they stay protected as well. You can also get this grip, which makes it very convenient to hold the complete setup like an actual camera while not really being as bulky as an actual camera. Now, one of the major cons of this system is obviously the proprietary mounting system. These filters work only with Polar Pro cases, so you will have to buy a new case if you want to change your phone and still keep on using these filters. I know majority of people don't buy a new phone every year, so if they get this kit for their phone right now, they can keep on using it for many years. But there are many enthusiasts out there and even I like to get a new phone every year. So it's very inconvenient for me to get a new system every year. I also wish they made these for more phones so more people could take advantage of it as right now these are just available for pro iPhones. I have one other small issue with it. If you have the defender plate on for protecting your camera lenses, whenever you want to take a picture or a video, you have to go through the extra step of taking this plate off. This can be a bit inconvenient if you want to take a quick shot, so I just ended up not using the plate for most of the time which kind of defeats its purpose. So those have been my views about this accessory from Polar Pro. Do you think you could see yourself buying and using it? Let me know in the comments. I will leave a link to it in the description section if you guys want to check it out or buy it for yourself. That is it for this video guys. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel for a lot more quality tech videos like this. You can also check out some of the other videos from this channel. This has been Saga and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.